Blender 3D is one of the most powerful 3D softwares out there. It offers professional tools and features to create high quality 3D artwork. But unlike the really expensive industry standard software, Blender comes with a surprising price tag which is zero dollars. But why is Blender free software? We are going to talk about that in this video. This video is brought to you by Learn to Make Looping Animations, a Blender course that teaches you to create four high quality looping animations step by step. Check it up in the link below. Firstly, let's dive into Blender 3D history. The story of Blender goes back when Tom Rosendale, co-founder of Blender and chairman of the Blender Foundation, created Neo Geo in the year 1989, which is a German animation studio that only had seven people working on it. In the year 1991, Tom bought the company first silicon computer, which they used to do real-time rendering of wireframes and solids. At that time, Neo Geo had a break in their clients and Tone felt that the current 3D tools were outdated and did not have enough rendering performance to meet demands from their clients. So he eventually created his own 3D software, he wrote Blender source files in 1994 and Blender was used as a household 3D package for Neo Geo at the time being. But in 1995, Tone wanted to share Blender with other non-Neo Geo users, so the first version of Blender, Blender 1.0, was there in 1995. After that, Neo Geo couldn't keep up with the demand caused by the dot-com era. The company was sold, and in 1998, Tone created NAN, or not a number, and it succeeded to secure 4.5 million from venture capitalists. So NAN gathered up to 50 employees working all over the world and just before the beginning of 2001, Blender 2.0 was released. And it was during this time that things started heading south. At that time, investors felt they were losing too much money and decided to halt all NAN's operations including the development of Blender. It was during this time that Ton came up with the idea of a free version of Blender, but he still had to tackle one big question, which is, where would he get the capital? At that time, Ton only had 10% of Blender shares, and he couldn't convince other partners to follow his plan, so he created the Blender Foundation in March 2002 an independent public benefit organization with the purpose to provide a complete, free, and open-source 3D creation pipeline. Ton raised $100,000 in 7 weeks and bought Blender. After that, in October 2002, Blender was an open-source program under the terms of GNU. But why would Ton resuscitate a company and then leave it for free? Well, the man had a vision that didn't involve money. He wanted Blender to survive so much that he would do anything to make it work. From there, he created Project Orange, the Blender Foundation first open movie. The production on the movie Elephant Dream started in September 2005 and was premiered at the end of March 2006. Later on, he created the Blender Studio in the Netherlands in 2007. The studio has released highly successful open movies projects, including Big Buck Bunny, Sintel, the Camina series, and the award-winning shorts Cosmos Laundromat and Spring. And also after the big success of Elephant Dream, Blender Institute was created to keep the foundation a safe place for Blender. Almost all activities of the foundation are being conducted by the Blender Institute. That includes office rent, daily administration, general management, HR services, e-store, conference organization, event participation, operation support, managing development fund, software research projects, workshops, meetings, 
Blender currently employs 26 full-time employees and 12 freelancers. In 2020, the Blender Institute Studio activities has been split off into a separate company. Blender Studio, here where new short films will be developed and activities will continue to develop a complete free and open source pipeline for independent production of future animations. Now that we know why is Blender free, let's talk about how Blender maintains that and where is Blender making money from to pay all the people working on it and support its development. First, we have Blender Studio. Formerly known as Blender Cloud, Blender Studio is the creative part of the Blender HQ, a dedicated team of artists and developers who challenge themselves with creative technical targets to help Blender users and to drive Blender development forward. This happens in an open source production environment and by sharing everything they make in an open and free license. You can join Blender Studio for $9.90 a month, get access to all the high quality training taught by the best Blender artists. You can also get assets that were used to create the short movies and other independent assets. You will also get animation and short breakdowns, weekly slash daily sessions, film assets, shaders and textures, and much more. Second, we have Blender Store. In the Blender Store you can purchase books, buy merch like shirts, hats, and mugs, and the revenue they generate from the sales goes to creating more projects and goes to the software development. Lastly, we have Blender Development Fund. Perhaps the largest source of funding for Blender is the Development Fund. It accepts donations from CG artists that like to support the development of Blender. Every member of the community can support the future of Blender by joining the development. You can choose the level that you want based on your budget. And you will help Blender have more groundbreaking features, a good development support, and quick bug fixes. Blender now makes $200,000 a month from contributions made by more than 2,900 individuals and 37 corporations, including Unity, AMD, Intel, Meta, Microsoft, and Ubisoft. After all, Blender now is a great example of a successful and excellent community-driven project enabling millions to create 3D content for free. That's it for this video. Tell me in the comments below what do you think about Blender 3D. Make sure to subscribe for more videos like this. Goodbye.